Hello everyone, my name is Chilvin, and today we're going to be playing three scary demos that were from Steam's Next Fest. Uh, the first one's called Savior. I don't know much about it, but it seems like it's going to be pretty freaky. Let's get into it. Having some issues currently. It was just the title screen. Oh, what's up? <laughs> it was just the title screen. Why? All right, so sorry. There was uh, some technical difficulties with the, the beginning here because the title screen was eating my graphics card. Uh, but now that it's actually gotten into the game, it is, it's smooth as butter now, and I have no idea. All right, move. Man, you can't. Cancle? Cancle. Confirm and select. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. It's like an A and B. What is this? Okay, spacebar, I guess, to move on. Stella number 1007. Okay. I can feel I can feel the gaze somewhere. Was it because of that dream? First thing you'll look around here. Ah, oh this. There's a sink. I think the water's still coming out. Oh, it's the diary of a previous inmate. Uh, yeah, finally found one. I finally found a way out of this damn place. There's an elevator in what they call corridor four, and you can use that elevator to go upstairs. I don't know how far it is connected, but at least it would be better than here. I need to implement my escape plan tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like I like the art style, like this whole 8-bit thing. I haven't played a lot of these because I know a lot of Korean and Japanese ones like to do this type of style because it's I guess creepier if you will, but it's dark so I can't see well. Ugh, what does that smell? What does this smell? Okay. Snow and vents. Where are they connected? Yeah, just knock that over. I mean, it's clearly trying to lead me over to that thing. <gasps> oh, shit. Kid, are you okay? Looks like she's dead. Poor. Girl's holding a drop in her hand. Would you like to take the drop? I'm sorry. Got a drop. Lord save the soul. Okay. Was that her soul that crawled up in there, though? Oh! Jesus, fuck. S stop! You, you will become a monster. What the fuck? What the fuck? Would you like to take blooded ID card? Sure, why not? Got the blooded ID card. I have a feeling it's... Well, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so some of these... The ID card is dirty and cannot be narcanized. Notes for Prison C1 inmates. Inmates of Prison C1 are blind, but very sensitive to sound. Whenever the inmate of Prison A2 makes a bell sound, it shows strong aggression, so be careful. What? So that's how this is going to be. So I figured out what to do. And yeah. Got the guard's ID card. 
So since this game is on some bullshit. Door opened. Fuck! Uh, no. I think he got stuck. Hmm. Okay. Not really sure what to do here. Oh. Unknown researcher's diary. It seems that a long time has passed since I started my research. I thought there was no such thing as compassion for the sacrifice, but recently I've been overwhelmed by strange feelings. Whenever I see a sacrifice, I feel something like an unknown homogeneity. And when you make sacrifices to the barriers or experiment with them, you feel like a strange sense of immorality. Is it because you are tired of work? I don't know. There's a hammer over there. Will having it help me? Try to get a hammer. Out of reach of my hand. Oop, got another note. Records of Lacrimosa. That sounds familiar. We have succeeded in expelling the tyrant by borrowing the power of another great being, but it's not over yet. In order to maintain the barrier to hide us from the tyrant, we must sacrifice his ascendants. How long will it last? There was also one request from us by the great being who helped us. That's right. The following content has been lost. <laughs> no, okay, no chair. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like bullshit deaths in this game. <laughs> ah! I feel like that's gonna attract some attention. Just saying. Got the hammer. Okay, so... Can I break something? Shit, I don't know. Can't get past because it's blocked by a pile of stones. Okay. What was this way? That's right, there's the girl. What was it what was the drop that she was talking about? Did I miss did I technically miss that? Yeah, I did, okay. Please Lord save this soul. Oh, How can I use it, though? Rear drop. I'm sorry. It was a precious bell. It's not a drop, it's a bell. Translation. You gotta love them. Dirty traitors. Although I disappear from this place, my brothers will bring back the true ruler. Your false world will face ruin. Great Father, forgive me for my failure. Okay. Would you like to use a hammer? I think that's quite good. I feel like I should save now. Unless there's going to be a save point.
Well, damn. There was a safe, but it's whatever. Ah, not what I want. Whew, all right. You, you doing all right there? No? Okay. Oh, that's not gonna... All right, so we got a little bit farther. All right, back here. Do I just... What the fuck? Okay, so it's gonna be one of those. Yeah, don't do that. I feel like she's... Let's see what happens. She's baiting me to die. Called it. <laughs> oh, you... Throw your first boulder. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> God. <laughs> you bitch. Haha. You thought. Let me save before I do anything so I don't die randomly here. Mutant B24. Experimental log. After one year of instrument. Let me try that again. After one year of administration of DH-235 to the subject and inflicting extreme pain, it began to mutate. Mutations are in the form of slick tentacles throughout the body and are spotty. <laughs> spotty body yaddy yaddy. There are black horns at the tip of the tentacles and there are caterpillar-like folds at the bottom. As they approach for investigation, they... Sh as they approached for investigation, that showed high aggression and attacked two researchers. This mutant does not react to minerals and appears to be sensitive to human flesh. After showing aggression once, it is silent for about three hours. We mark an X in the attack range of the mutant and threw the bait before they experimented to stabilize the mutant and proceeded experiment. Writer, Dr. J. Okay, that's the bait, so not... Uh... Not dealing that one. About the Great One One. We do not exactly we do not know exactly what great beings are. However, what is certain is that their mental dimension is far bef However, what is certain is that their mental dimension is far above humans, and humans suffer damage to the extent that their minds are disrupted just by trying to recognize them. There is no way to harm them unless they are on the same level as them. It can be said that being itself is a disaster for mankind. It is presumed that there was a great existence who ruled the earth in the past, but it cannot be found at present. I would definitely want to see it with the scholar's inquiry spirit, but for mankind it would be very good. Hopefully the day will not come when my inquisitive spirit is filled. An incinerator room. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Dare I try again? God! Ow! Just for shits and giggles, let's see what happens. Two hours later. I have another theory. 
This might be kind of costly. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, thank you. That was definitely unneeded, but thank you. <laughs> Madman's arm. Put down the Madman's arm. Let it memo. All right. Table or chair, book, table, couch. What does it mean? Am I supposed to do that with the other guy too? This guy here? All right, so we're back at again at the point after using the madman's arm and everything like that. Make sure to save this time. Okay. Voice message is executed. Alpha. Beta all assembled in front of the bulkhead. Shit, crazy. Everyone evacuate there. What happened? The jailer's crazy bastard locked the door. Doesn't even open with a gun. Sorry, I'm sorry, run away. What, what is that? Sound like a baby's unidentified, unidentified cry is heard. Yippee, Wilson, yippee. Help. Sound is cut off. What the f 20XX, 1209, 1930, replenishment. Derek Bolat. 10 humans with factor supplementary wind. In the sacrifice use, all those who do not meet the factor are replaced with a test subject. Why is that blinking you now? There are no health problems over other than vitamin D deficiency. However, the anxiety and pounding in my heart that I still feel still do not stop. <sighs> it's like a wild beast approaching me right in front of me. Are the ghosts of people who have died so far tormenting me? I think I should consult a Dr. J. Something's wrong with this. Even the medicine is the Dr. J gives doesn't work at all. How is this feeling? Something, something is coming. I have to get out of here right now. Oh, okay. Why is there a huge F? I know research diary. I knew the truth of this world. The beings in fi of filthy blood were the descendants of the true rulers of this world. And I, too, were the sense of a great ruler. The reason I felt loneliness in the past is because I was different from others. Now I can understand the irrational oppression and inequality of this world. Domination of the unqualified led to this twist. Now we must end this false dominion and make all equal under the true dominion. Okay. Yeah, I tried. Uh... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the bloody memo, would you like to kick the track? I don't know what that did. Honest to God, I don't know what that did. Three hours later. <sighs> Just skull. <laughs> okay. Chair, book, table, couch. With the F on it. Is there a couch? I don't see a couch. Chair, book, 
table couch. Chair, book. Yeah, chair, book, table, couch, but. And then this F. There's gotta be something else I'm missing here. One eternity later. All right, so I figured it out um, by sheer determination and will that uh, the answer is jailer room. Can I take that knife, please? This is an email sent by the jailer to someone. Jace, the Central Research Center has already become a monster everywhere. Experiment seems to have ended in failure. I should have blocked Dr. J's project. If these monsters go outside, the world would be in chaos. I'm sorry for the survivors of the lab, but I will close the central lab and confine the monsters here. I ask for my family and the families of the victims. What the fuck is that thing? Okay, can I have the sword? Test subject 12 profile. Oh, subject series, subject serial number 12, name Stella, sex, Fefale, age 15 year old estimated. Uniqueness, orphan, the orphanage that brought the specimens is presumed to be a facility operated by a cult who works against the organization. This is a profile of me. What the hell were you trying to do on me? Usually it's say due to you. Would you like to display the skulls? Ah. Ah. There's a button. Do you want to press the button? Yes. No sound. Cool. Don't know what that did. Okay. It opened the door, but nothing happened. Sounds good. Where am I supposed to go from here? Saving. No, don't hurt me. All right, no boulders, okay. Unless you're gonna... Lead me to a sense of calm and ease and hit me with some kind of surprise attack. Not exactly sure what to be doing, but... I didn't think there was anything else in here, but I could be wrong. Did I not get... Wait a second. No, I did get the hammer. Let's go this way real quick. Ah! Huh! Okay. About the Great One, too. <laughs> great One have no concept of human good or evil. They only move to their desires. Some individuals want to dominate the world while others simply stand by. Types are diverse, and even between them, their superiority. An inferiority. Okay. He just simply dropped. Mutant C17 experimental dog. Experiments with adult substances have yielded poor results, such as ending at the level of loss of reason in general. It was hypothesized that adults with full physical growth did not receive the effects of DH235 properly and experimented with subjects within 10 months of age. Psych syncopation. As a result of the experiment, it achieved rapid growth in enormity 
at a level not previously observed. In the process of growth, the skin turned purple, and the strength of the skin increased significantly. Intelligence remained unchanged at the newborn's level and developed a strong aggression. Through this case, it was confirmed that the younger the age, the higher the expression of drug effects. It is recommended the lower to further lower the age range of the subjects in the future. Right, Dr. J. Yeah, this guy doesn't sound like the greatest of people. Wait to you. Ah. Okay, I am normal. Don't be scared. Monsters are running around this facility right now. You have to get out of this place as quickly as possible. There's an elevator at the end of this hallway. I don't go... Don't go to the ground at once, but I can go upstairs. Go ahead and go to the elevator. Who is you? <laughs> Do you know well about this place? I'm a researcher doing research here. I would hope so. I have no choice but to know well about this place. Please tell me, why am I here? I'm sorry. Now, I can only say that it's because of some kind of experiment. Hey, it's not the time you're doing this. Come on, you have to go to the elevator. Oh, how about you? I have to find out if there are more survivors left. Saving people is the only atonement I can do right now. That's what I was about. <laughs> no! Okay, we're back. Uh, so, yeah, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Oi. All right, so this is going to have to be a memorized game. Okay, cool. I love it. Shut it. I actually like that. It was. It, it, I actually really like that. It had its moments, like all the the different random deaths that you could have. Uh, I would really kind of liked an auto save, if you will. Granted, this is just a demo, so maybe when the full game comes out, they'll have an auto save. But having to go back from that one save point, go all the way back down, have to go through all that, you know, dialogue again, whatever else, it was kind of annoying. But um, yeah, other than that, it was really good. Translation needs work, but once again, it's a demo, so on to the next video. Okay, so welcome to Tormented Souls. Uh, don't know much about this game either. I did see a friend of mine uh, play pretty much this demo on, uh, or just saw a bit of it, I should say. Saw a bit of this demo on uh, stream, and it's very, very reminiscent of old school Resident Evil like fixed camera, uh, inventory management, all that stuff. So I've been really excited to try this game and we're going to go ahead and get into it. Hello. Letter for me, I never receive letters. From John Doe, that's always lovely. To Carolyn Walker. Should check the front of the letter to see who the letter. I already did. John Doe, Wildeberg Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada. Okay, now can I open it? Ah. My head. You just think you can abandon us here? Yeah, if you're going to act like that. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since Wildberger. Then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? 
I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Wildberger. Apart from domestic burgers. <laughs> God, I want a burger. This actually looks pretty good so far. Good Resi mansion with modern AC. Oh, okay. Well, that's not very nice. Is this going to be the same where we find out that uh, we've just been mold the entire time? Oh, hi. Why am I naked? Titties. And... That's what you want to wake up to. My clothes are gone, my eye is gone. What's going on? That's weird. Okay. She's kind of cute. Her eyes actually gone. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. My eye is gone. Who took my eye and why? William Wild Burger's Diary. Okay, can I not interact? Can I not... Okay. Today's the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured in the past few years, Ma Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there's more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eye, with her eyes wide open, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it was a sign. She has started using the hours, her lucky number, and uses it for everything. Okay. Uh, so the time's not on there, but... Okay, that's gonna have to get some use- getting used to. I try to just simply, like, walk backwards. Like, say, the camera's fixed like this. I can't just use S to go that way, I have to actually press forward. It's kind of different, if you will. An old pocket watch, there's a latch on the crown. Ah, 135, or 1235. An old photograph of two young twins. Alright. 
Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Okay. 12, 37. Oh, 12, 35. I know how to tell time. Why do I need this? Why do I have this? I love a wrench. Jaw size is adjustable. Do not let shadows embrace you. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. So can I get to the respirator? Question is why? I am digging this so much. I was gonna say I can't open it. Ah, really? Interesting. I have to adjust it first. I East Wing Corridor. Spoopy, properly spoopy. Don't have a flashlight. What? Uh, it's just a plant. A crepe baby. Telling me how to do that, baby. The non informative baby. This is properly creepy. Let me finish going over here first. Don't know if I'm missing stuff, but we will get there when we get there. It's locked. Fears open electronically. Got it. Nope. Okay. Seem to have some things done here. Maria Wilderberg's diary. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's hit whip. Wow, damn. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father the same way again. I certainly wouldn't either. Your dad sounds like an asshole. Why is there a diving helmet here? Map of the area. I am there. Newborn delivery room, East Wing Hall. Exam room pharmacy. East Wing Corridor. Public bathroom, interesting. Okay, so the stairs are behind me. These stairs here. Is that one? Okay, yeah, they go up and down. So this should be maternity. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let's go up here. Judith beheading Halafernes. Depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general Halafernes in his tent after charming him. The recreation of Caravaggio's work is outstanding. It almost looks like the original. I Lock from the other side. Got it. Cool. Muy bueno. Don't like those sounds. 
Don't like how that's foreshadowing something. I do want to go back this way, though. I feel like... I might have missed a clue or something. Especially for that maternity ward door. Do not like this. <laughs> no, like, I like the game. It's just... It's creepy, man. That's interesting. Why are they... What's with all the masks? Nice try. Nice try. Oh, hello. A clip of nails? Okay. I don't have said nailer, but uh, I hope I get one soon. The Nightmare. Painted by Henry Fuseli. Depicts a woman in a deep sleep with a dramatic incubus crouched on her chest. This recreation is amazing. It almost looks like the original. I wonder if it actually is. Old file. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winterland, Winter Lake Island, the Tismut tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside the caverns on the island's shore, dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were the twins buried together. What? Okay. So they're all twins. Were they trying to get twins the entire time? My machine's out of order. I feel like the whole run. What? I feel like the running should be. Pharmacy window, I can't see anything on the other side. Should be the default. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I kind of understand the walking for atmospheric effect. sound but it's just I don't know it's covered in blood got it reeks it don't dare lift the sheet nah, I'm fine with that Tabor square to save progress oh will I find said file old files not less yeah find said tape or I think I found it actually Love it. Let's save that info. Got two of them. Do you have to use your save sparingly? Is that what that is? An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name Annie. is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know, an eye for an eye. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? So I wonder, do I get that back? I do not. So you... That's interesting. You have to use your saves... Sparingly. Detail me can you do so. Medical books, nothing useful. Left side of plastic heart. Okay. Vial of morphine treats minor injuries. Okay. So is that it in here? I just find the left side of the heart. Sure, I'll find the right side in another room somewhere. Alright. 
Whoa, what was that? No, okay, that was nothing. I don't want to know what that creaking sound is, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out very soon. Nothing in that bag either. Nothing over there. Okay, spoopy hallway. Love the camera angle. Was there anything else over here? I hadn't seen or done yet. No. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, I have just excuse me. I think I just have down here to go. I feel like I'm one of these twins. This character is one of the twins. And somehow I forgot. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. And it won't budge their symbols above the keyhole. Okay, alien, pharaoh, B, and then the key itself is kind of interesting. I feel like this has something to do with it. Because it seems like it's pointing at the door, but I can't be sure yet. Okay, so the public bathroom. I think I've been up. Yeah, I've been up here already. I think I've seen all I can see from up there. So it's time to go down here with the uh, foreshadowing of a heart attack, supposedly. Not liking that. Alright, got a boo boo seat. What is this? Clip of nails. I still don't have a nailer. That's doing me no good. Combination key. It's missing a dial, though. Interesting. Oh, maintenance crew. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by my shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Minute book. Five. Okay. Kind of being forced to go this way in the giant iron door. Basement east. Love this camera angle. Good. Okay, even I have to say that was kind of, kind of corny. Just saying. It's been mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Why is wearing a gas mask? Do not run. Love it. <gasps> Interesting fellow. Ah! No! Thank God you don't move fast. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to be screwed there. Oh, 
vamos a unirnos a la de ahí. ¿Eh? It's never go as well, especially in this situation. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I think I called it. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. We'll see how long that lasts. Now with the modified air pressure to increase the power. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Damn, seriously? It's gotta be one or the other, I see. Okay. That is going to suck. It's not plugged in. Okay. Digging the music. Albeit how unnecessary it is. Okay. Don't know what I'll need that for, I think. It's not plugged in. Nice. Okay. Got more saving capabilities. Is he playing the music? Just like... Whoop! What is that? Maria Wahlberger's. Okay, William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital is located would be the best for us. That it would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. Am I being selfish? Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then he looked at me again, his eyes opened wide. William came to me and put a hand on my forehead. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His voice faltered when he spoke. We're gonna have a baby, he said. I felt sick. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until early morning. What? <sighs> what the? I'm gonna have to fight this thing. Okay, not sure how I feel about that. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Back.
Okay. Okay. They couldn't make a death animation. <laughs> I can walk right through them. Okay, cool. Lock from the other side. Okay. I feel like this is going to also be one of those uh, games where... You're gonna have to definitely. I'm still fine. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure on that. Uh, definitely. There's gonna be times where you're gonna have to just simply run, if you will. I'll use the other modifier. Only, only dude I have to deal with like that, man. He's not going to be. I know he's not going to be. It's just the aiming is kind of interesting, to say the least. Is it down here? No, it was this guy. This is the weird thing, because I don't have a map. The only map that I have was back this way. On that uh, poster board or whatever. Excuse me. Is there any delivery, pharmacy, exam, waiting room, dental room? I'm confused. Let me talk to the father again, because I'm I'm still confused. I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything, really. I was hoping to find some leads around here. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. I came here looking for information about Ed. Okay. Thank you, Father. He is no longer helpful because he did not tell me where to go. Oh, is it? Oh, it's over here. Oh my god. What in the hell? Ah! Got it. That's what the crowbar is for then. Got it. Got it. Okay, nailer. Good, good. I feel like I'm gonna need it. Natural gas. I get the feeling it's going to need to be at a certain pressure. But I'm sure we'll find a note or something that tells us what the pressure is supposed to be. Yep. Issue with the electric generator, the pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Huh? Ten. 
Okay, it's supposed to be ten. Got it. Small of ah. So it makes you come up here, honestly. Okay. God dang it. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna have to get some getting used to here. Nope. Nope. Aha! Gas pressure it has to be at least one over. Now it should be good, especially if it's going to take one. Still powered by candles back here. Okay. That's where I came from. Okay, that's still locked. I think all the electronic ones should be open now. down here too. No, that's where the guy died, that's right. Since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer would worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 1134 due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. The rapid onset of rigor mortis have been unable to remove it from their hand. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Okay. 
The chest was left open in the middle of the procedure. The heart is missing. Wait. Water switched off. Water switched off. Wasn't there... Yeah, this blinking light thing. Wasn't there significance to that? Right side of the plastic heart. Okay. So we can now combine these two. Do I have to go back to the, uh, the mannequin? Or is I get, do I give it to her? Doesn't fit. Okay. Oh. I don't like that. Little room. What is in here? Can't move. Oh, I don't like this. Definitely don't like this. Oh, hello, actually. Why is music getting more intense? Jesus Christ. I think the other one was the examination. Nope, don't like it. Oh, 
can I actually do this? Oh. Okay. And that's what I'm going to stop for today. I know I didn't finish this. Or that's what I would like to say. But I do have one more game. Uh, sorry it kind of ended a little weird after uh, after Tormented Souls. Um, I had full intention of playing another game. Sadly, it was uh, no longer in demo format. So what I will now play is a game called In Sound Mind. I had played it during a stream. And I apologize, you'll probably hear a friend of mine on Discord talking at the same time. But this was a game that I really wanted to like show you guys as well because this game is going to be a huge hit when it comes out. And this one comes out August 3rd. So, enjoy. Okay, so I'm having to play in windowed mode because Streamlabs, you know. I thought my uh, I thought my system was pretty damn good, but apparently not enough for Streamlabs. Ugh, let's get into this. So, In Sound Mind, it is a game that's coming out very soon. Actually, it's a game I've actually been uh, keeping up with. I've had it on my wish list for months now. Anyways, let's get this going because I really wanted to play this. But yeah, no this this game's been on my radar for a while. Lagging a little bit, but it's better than what it was, at least. And... Okay. <laughs> I got scared there for a second. It said not responding, so I was just like... Well, it is also a demo. I think it's also an early build, too. Yeah. I haven't seen that name in a while. Modus? Or modest. They say curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Still lagging. He killed the cat. Curiosity only brought her to me. We had a badass over here. Hello, hello. Where am I? Find out what's going on. That's one hell of an objective. I can't remember anything. What's that? Can I get there? Oh my god, I get to peek around corners. This is gonna be This is gonna be interesting. Catastrophe. Forget everything. Life as you've known it is now at the window. All indicators are indicating stay inside. Can I get up there? Oh, it looks like something. So, this looks... I'm sorry. It is lagging. God-awfully. Give me a moment here. Am I really going to have to turn this down to like a medium? Yeah, I just turned it down to medium and now it went from 100% down to about 66%. And the CPU from 70 to 52. I wanted it to, oh my god, I wanted it to stay at a high percent. I mean, it still looks good, actually, even on medium, so I can't really complain too much. 
Some objects may require certain items to be unlocked. F unlocked objects access tab immediately. There's a keyhole. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, that is dark as fuck. Oh yeah, that's way better. Hella better. That's a damn shame though. Alright, anyways, onwards and upwards. What the hell is this? This looks weak. This looks weak. Oh, they... Looks unstable. Oh, so explosive. Why do I need a sprint? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. This is not the time to be telling me that I can sprint right now. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, hello. Oh, don't like that. This will come in handy. Will it? Or will it just make it worse? It looks fragile. Can I Can I smack it then? Yeah, this flashlight really did a whole lot of good for me. Man, fuck you. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God damn it. I know. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that little son of a bitch, like... <laughs> dip out again? Oh my god. It wasn't the chair that freaked me out, it was the motherfucker around this corner. <sighs> oh, hell no. Hell no, hell no, hell no. I'm not having that shit. Man, oh, I don't, I didn't know this was going to be a horror game. Yep. Uh huh. Don't do that. Okay, hallway key. Yep. Battery. Cool. <sighs> I don't need this in my life. It looks like it's kind of lagging again. Just let me know. Man, I thought this was... I thought this was something else. I thought this was like kind of just a cool game to play. I mean, you play this game, I'm going nowhere. Yep, short circuiting. No, don't do that. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bro, 
I am fucking sweating. Oh my god. This is properly scary. I didn't see what that was, and I don't care. Looks fragile. I thought this was just going to be a cool game, dude. I don't like these red lights, dude. What in the hell am I supposed to do? So who wants to see me play a new game? Cause uh... God dude, I'm fucking sweating. Did you not do that? Oh, hello. It's a fuse box. Well, all right then. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life right now. I don't need that. Uh, let's go to the second floor. Oh my god. <laughs> I am like... Oh my god. Am I still crouched now? Okay. Explore the top floor. How about not? Ooh, a little glitch there. What the fuck? <sighs> what? Where am I? Is this like a hotel or something? I think you could actually turn your flashlight off, but why would anyone want to do that? Pointless. Okay, it was a cat. Okay. That's an interesting way to present the title, if you will. <sighs> My home? Fuck yeah. We at Mayor Pharmaceuticals wanted to take the time and thank you for your continued support in our company and distribution center here at Milton Haven. Your health and safety are our number one concern, not just as a company, but as neighbors too. From information below, I'm doing your neighborhood, yada yada yada, and don't care anymore. White cassette tape, okay. It's locked. The fuck you will do with that? Okay, so I need to find a key to my own room? I appreciate the music, though. Okay, I was just making sure. Oh, Desmond. Now I just turn back to being... Nah, fam. 
No. So like narrator. It's my tape player. Uh okay. Oh Thank you for playing In Sound Mind. Oh. Desmond Tate? In an unexpected turn of events, it seems I am the one who is losing my mind. Why or how this is all happening is beyond me but as strange as this is I'm equally as fascinated as I am scared it always starts with a man in a lighthouse it's actually a buoy but fuck it oh, I don't have my flashlight anymore well that's lovely but Eh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright, an unneedingly... Life in Milton Haven has become unfamiliar lately. People are... Hell, I'm starting to see unusual patterns, behaviors, ever since the crash, maybe. It's beginning to make sense, I suppose. My own feelings of dread, of fear, are similar to those of my patients. Okay, so he's a psychiatrist. It's a giant cassette tape. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my patients. We're dropping like flies. Dying. Oh, poor Virginia. I should go over their cases. I need to understand what this is. Well, hi. If I can get through this, if I can just keep my oh, she's focused, gone. I must stay aware, awake, alert. Apparently, I am sleeping. I guess. Okay, went through all that. Okay, the plot thickens. I have a cat following me, along with narrator. Yeah, right. Exactly. I I how I mean hi. I'm having a weird day. Everything okay with you? Don't press the All right. I get to pet the kitty. Elevator button? Was it missing the main floor button? I didn't even notice. 
Oh, do I come back here and I collect the tapes? Did you not? Buy an apartment. Nope. Fuck you. Uh, excuse me? I'm dead. It's gonna kill me. I am such a st I hate these type of games. Please go away. What the fuck? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> uh... This bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Back to this shit again. More apartments. That's closed off for some reason. Go run around and pick it all up for me. Slide barrel grip. You can keep it, I'll even show you how to use it. Top floor above the vending machine. First floor, maintenance room, taped under the table. Basement behind, what was that? Nah, fuck you. Maintenance room taped underneath the table. Nope. Don't give a shit. <sighs> Find what? You're good. Put your head to the test. I won't lie though. I'd much rather see you die trying. Yeah, okay. I wonder if he gets mad if I ignore him. I wonder if I should actually go and I might be able to cut this. What's with all the fish? Bunch of broken glass. Whatever this leads me to. Virginia's home. Okay. Cause he said poor Virginia. Shattered mirror. She cloaks the knife with pretty linen and presents it as a gift. She croaks the phrase, we pretty women, sending me away adrift. 
Her dreams are dead, so please take mine. I wonder how she sleeps at night. My dreams are nightmares, stuck in time, a linen damaged by a knife. I started writing you letters because you want to answer your phone. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we brought you coming on isn't broken. Father insisted we send you money for the extra bill. And though I know you love you, support you, I don't want to encourage you begging us for money every month. Love, 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 love. Thank you for the gummy bear cereal. <sighs> no signal. Yeah, fuck off, guy. Okay. I might be able to cut this. With what? There's glass everywhere. Why can't I cut it with the cut this. My god, dude. I could probably cut it with all the glass on the fucking floor. But no. Am I supposed to come back to this? Oh. Oh. What is this? Never lose hope hospital. Stitches. Virginia rule. Drug supplies. Dr. Pinsky. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to come back because it's seeming as if I can't do anything in here yet. I'm honestly thinking I'm gonna have to find all of these gun parts first. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's go to the basement. We haven't been there yet. Oh, we have been here. What the hell are we talking about? Where was... I in the middle laundry machine? Get up there. No, fuck you. Whatever that was, fuck you. We don't need any of that kind of negativity in here. It's a fuse box. It fits. Trying to figure out what to do here. Why do I feel like the banging and whatnot is uh, like a giant version, a giant man? <sighs> Could you not? Nope, don't care. Sweating, 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 sweating. I think it's on the top floor, actually. Now you think about it. Ah, damn. Run, 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 run to the thing. Dip. Could you not? I could probably assemble something here. That's not how you put together a pistol, but okay. I don't have to use this. I have a way to defend myself. I'm okay with this. But it takes away my flashlight. 
I don't know how I feel about that. She's stealth every three pills. Okay. Ah, damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The headphones are making my... Yeah, sorry, I ain't fucking around. He gonna try to talk shit? I ain't gonna deal with it anymore. Interesting. So this world's really fragmented. I wonder if that's a clue to something. I wonder if that's the Eden Grove place she was just mentioning. Bitch, I did not touch that. You gonna pull that shit on me? <laughs> yeah, dude. Got it. Okay, I don't... The ship... The sprint's kind of... janky, because... If you let go even, like... For a split second, it still registers as if you're still sprinting. Once again, early build. So, is he thinking he drove her to the point to, I guess, potentially take her life or something? And he's just racked with guilt? What if I actually needed those for something? Ah! <sighs> I'm doing it just on purpose now.
Oma Mart. Okay, what is the significance of this? All right, and that's a small snippet of In Sound Mind. I'm sorry I have to cut it short. The video was already running two hours long. I know probably a lot of you haven't even gotten to the end of this video. And for those of you that have, I humbly appreciate it. Um, I tried cutting down as much as I could, um, especially like unimportant parts, or whatever else, but still, it's a lengthy video. So I think from here on, for any, for any kind of video like this, I'm gonna try and do shorter like snippets or hopefully try and get it to where I'm gonna to have to cut out a lot more. And I really don't wanna do that, but I may have to. But in any case, thank you all for stopping by. Please like, subscribe to the video if you really enjoyed this. Any and all support is appreciated, but hopefully I can see you guys in the next video. Peace out everybody, bye.